Hello, this is a short video to demonstrate how to use Smanage CSR module during first, second, or even third party audits. Included among the management system requirements, it is necessary to audit the fulfillment of customer specific requirements during the system and or process audits. By using the relevant Smanage feature, you can access any applicable CSRs right in the audit situation. If you are employed by an organization that has a valid subscription to the CSR module of Smanage, or act as a third-party auditor, or a consultant conducting first- or second-party audit at a company, you can access any relevant published CSR via your smartphone or tablet. Let's see how it works. First, you need to sign into your Smanage account. Your subscription needs to include the CSR module to access it. Depending on the audit situation, you should see the relevant requirements of a given customer for a specific process. I will present the feature in our demo system since because of contractual requirements, every organization has to manage the relevant CSRs on their own. Of course, upon request, we can support you with that. In our first example, you can focus on the customer-specific requirements of Ford Motor Company during an audit. At the stage of the assessment, you audit the process called measuring device control. First, you need to choose Ford from the drop-down menu, then the audited process. There are two requirements published, one for the external laboratories and another one for the measuring system analysis. Let's see the first one. As you can see, the customer-specific requirement of Ford related to external laboratories is that contrary to the IATF standard, Ford does not make accreditation according to ISO IEC 17025 mandatory. If you are auditing in Germany and you or your colleagues added a German translation, you can show the requirement for the local staff in their language. Of course, it works with any translation in any country. But note that always the original language shall be considered as valid. In some cases, you may need to present the source of the requirement. If the link is saved or the file itself is attached in Smanage, you can open and show it. Let's take another example. Now you are auditing the process named Document Control. If you choose the process, you will see which customer has special requirements to this topic. As you see, there are many customers with additional requirements related to this topic. Let's check Daimler. They say that the organization shall consider VDA Volume 1 for record retention. In this case, the reference document is uploaded into Smanage and you can open it directly. In some cases, you may need to search for a word or for the title of a requirement. No problem, you can do that as well. For example, if you are searching for CSRs related to product safety, just type it in here and you will see that Volkswagen AG and BMW have special requirements related to this topic. Two important remarks at the end. Regardless if you are using Smanage for first, second, or third-party audits, it is always your or your organization's responsibility to keep the data in the system up to date. Before you raise any nonconformity as an auditor, check the validity of the requirements. If you are conducting first or second party audits, the CSRs published in the system are most probably the reviewed and agreed requirements, but keep in mind that in case of using the system as a third party auditor, you have access to the generic customer specific requirements only. Therefore, before you raise a nonconformity, you always have to check if there is any special agreement or waiver between the audited organization and its customer. Let's start. Be effective, be efficient, be smanage.